Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at creating a hidden tab control. That's done with the following steps. First, you'll create a standard tab control and put that on your layout. Then you're going to apply the fields, objects, and whatever you want to display in that area under each tab. Then you're going to assign a tab panel with an object name. For instance, if I had two tab panels, one might be customers and one might be vendors. Finally, you'll hide the tab and create a brand new script that will switch between tabs using the go to object script step. And then you'll create a layout script trigger which will call your script on record load or at an appropriate time when the data changes. Let's go take a look at how that's done now. In this video, we have a simple contact management database that I just created, and I have two records. One record is a type of vendor, and the other record is a type customer. So there are occasions when you want to use the same real estate within your layout for different types of information, depending on the type of record you're on. So over here on the right, I have a couple of different types of fields. Here are a couple of fields that pertain only to vendors, and here is a field that pertains only to customers. So first we'll draw a standard tab control, like so. the customers up ahead of vendors and I'll go ahead and put the information related to customer on the customer tab and I'll put the information related to vendors on the vendors tab let's make this a little smaller let's say for example I had some other information down here I'll just draw that with a standard box, put a light gray fill. Okay, so a lot of times it's desired to hide the tab and simply use the area to change dynamically based on the type of record. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that I've got the tab, let's go ahead and hide it. Before I do, I'll go into layout mode and click on each tab panel open up my inspector and then name the object In this case I'll name that tab customer and I'll name this tab vendor okay so now we'll go ahead and hide the object altogether I can make sure I have both tab controls selected which in a sense selects the entire tab control I'm holding the shift key when I select both of those going to hide and make it so that there are no lines, no effects, and nothing in the fill. Finally, I'll double click and make the fixed, the tab width, a fixed width of zero pixels. Back to browse mode and I have completely hidden the tab. Now let's create a script. I'll call it switch. And the script is going to be simple. We're just going to create an if statement that says if the type equals customer. And the, the magic is using the go to object script step. And if it isn't the customer, then it's obviously the vendor in this case. But you could do several tab controls, or several tabs, I should say. You could have a customer type, a vendor type, an employee type, and you can switch tabs accordingly. So if the type of record is customer, we're going to go to the object customer. If not, we'll go to the object vendor. And that's the script, and the whole script is called switch. 
Finally, go to layout mode, or you can actually go right directly to manage layouts. And I will edit that and perform a script trigger that says on record load, call the switch script that we just created. Back to browse mode. Now notice I'm on record one and I'm on a type of customer. If I flip to record two, because that's a vendor, I'm now displaying the vendor fields. And you can see here that it's seamless that there are fields on top of each other because they're hidden behind a hidden tab control. 